Hey everyone, Eli and Matt here from the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum, and today we're going to be tapping into temperature mapping. Now, what is temperature mapping? Well, essentially, it's monitoring and recording the surface temperature of things over a long period of time to see what changes. Now, in Matt's hands is this wonderful gizmo called an infrared thermometer, which basically reads the temperature of things in real time, which is really handy because that's how we're going to look at these activities and learn from them. So we're going to start over here, and this right here is called a thermal sheet, and it changes color based on the temperature of the surface of the sheet. Right now, it's at room temperature, which is about 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and so now, if I put my hand on it and leave it there for a few seconds, we can actually see that my heat from my hand is going to transfer onto the thermal sheet, and leave a weird colors of handprint. And you can see that it actually increased in about three degrees, but about, it went up to about 81 Fahrenheit, which is really cool. Now that we know that it works, we can actually go to different things and see how that all transfers. So everything under this heat lamp has been under this heat lamp for a few minutes now. So they're all under this controlled temperature environment, all under the same amount of heat. So on the left side here, we have different types of materials. We have a clay tile, and we have some dirt and moss that's literally from right outside the museum. Now, if we measure the temperature of the clay really quick, it's a whopping 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if we measure the moss and the dirt, we go down to 77. And that's because different materials hold on to heat better, and natural materials like the moss and dirt actually are better at keeping cool. And that's important. We'll get to that later. Now, another thing that changes the surface temperature is color because pigments uh, change in how they hold heat. So if we look at these two ceramic tiles, they're the exact same material, but one's black and one's white. So if we measure the white one first, it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit about. So now if we look to the black tile, it's 90 degrees. So the black tile is holding the heat more because the pigment holds the heat more, and that's why we get all of these different degrees of Fahrenheit from the same source of heat. Now, how does that all work? How do we use that to our advantage? Well, satellites all around the world are orbiting the Earth, and a lot of them have thermal thermometers on them, and they read the temperature of the entire surface of the globe, in the ocean, in cities, etc. And because of the things we know from these experiments, we can actually improve uh, the state of how we build a society, including large, dense buildings. We're actually learning to paint the roofs and the pavements white to keep everything cooler, as well as including more natural material and plants and trees to keep everyone nice and cool. So thank you so much for tapping into temperature mapping. This has been Matt and I from the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum.